So you're ready to record. You go to hit F12 or numeric keypad 3, and then you see the speaker symbol. You most likely haven't set up shortcuts or optimized for Pro Tools. <laughs> In case you were wondering what my setup is, here's some screenshots to give you an idea. Just know the only thing on my computer is the applications for audio. All recording happens on an external drive. So navigate to the top left of your computer for the Apple symbol, click on System Preferences, and then Keyboard. In this section right here, we're going to first go to the shortcuts. What we'll do is we'll go through each selection, disabling the shortcuts. So we have no conflicts between our shortcuts in Pro Tools and the shortcuts enabled by the computer by default. Once all shortcuts have been disabled, we'll launch Pro Tools, create a new track, record enable it, and then hit F12 or numeric keypad 3. If we still come across the speaker symbol, we know we haven't set it up correctly. We'll have to navigate back to System Preferences, Keyboard, and enable this option. Once this has been selected, we'll come back to Pro Tools and once again, hit F12 or numeric keypad 3. And as we can see, we now have the shortcuts enabled correctly. Let's head back to System Preferences. We'll click on Energy Saver. Here, we want to make sure the display never turns off. Here, we'll turn off the option to put the hard disk to sleep and to prevent the computer from sleeping as well. The same thing for the battery section. Once this is completed, we'll head back to System Preferences, where we'll choose Network. In this section, we're going to want to choose each FireWire device and make sure the Configure IPv4 is turned off. Repeat the process for each FireWire device. Once completed, we'll try to head back to System Preferences, but you'll be met with this prompt to make sure you apply the settings. Back in the System Preferences, we'll choose Security and Privacy, making sure the FireVault is turned off. And again, back to System Preferences, this time we'll choose App Store, making sure the Automatic Updates feature is turned off. We'll head over to Spotlight, and we're going to have to make sure our hard drives are plugged in, or else it'll be blank here. Notice how the hard drive now shows up. We'll make sure to select it, and then hit the minus button here to take it off the privacy list. So I've been experiencing a couple more crashes than usual on Pro Tools, and I know they say you delete the preferences and delete these workspace files, but really, how do you do that? First, you're going to start off by opening a new Finder window, and then at the top selections, you're going to see File, Edit, View, Go, Window, and Help. On the drop-down menu, you'll see there's no option for library. What we'll do is we'll hit option on our keyboard, and this will allow the library folder to appear. Once there, we'll navigate down and click on it to open it up. Once in the library, we'll look for the folder named Preferences. Once inside the Preferences folder, we'll now search for the Avid folder. And when found, double-click on it to open it. Once inside the Avid folder, we'll be met by another folder named Pro Tools. Say hello to it and double-click it. Once inside here, we'll select all files and proceed to delete them. Next, we'll want to navigate to Macintosh HD. In here, we'll choose Users, Shared, and then navigate over to the Pro Tools folder. These two files will eventually be deleted, but we'll just delete the whole folder. We'll then head over and empty the trash. Once complete, we'll relaunch Pro Tools and see if we're still receiving the same error or crashes. If you enjoyed any of the tips that I've shared with you today, please make sure to subscribe. If you're in the market for audio plugins, check out my friends over at Waves and use this special code to save an extra 10%. And no, it's not a paid advertisement. I just like Waves.